What's up guys, Wyland1 here, and today we are completing the family. So, my last review, I did a review on the Jazzwares Charizard figure right there, and now we finally got the Blastoise and the Venusaur. Uh, I like the size of the Venusaur. The Blastoise looks like it could be a little bigger in general, but it is what we have right now, so let's get to it. Alright, so here they are out of the box. I have to say, they look pretty cool. My biggest complaint is probably... Uh, Blastoise right here being a little bit smaller than I would like him to be. Here is next to Ash right here, pretty small. To be fair, I don't think he's in the same class of action figures as the Blastoise or Charizard, but this is the best one we can get and find. Uh, he does come with a couple of missiles right here, which are pretty cool. That's a pretty cool look right there, I don't mind that. So to activate the missiles, you bring down his tail, and you go flying over the place. His Mouth moves as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, Articulation-wise, he doesn't have that much articulation right there. Uh, his arms seem to be on a ball joint, so they do kind of pivot a little bit. But they just move about that much. Pretty limited. Same thing with the legs. Uh, it looks like they're more of a swivel. They go up and down like that, if anything. So pretty limited, but he looks cool. Not bad. Very basic colors on him, nothing crazy. Uh, but he is what it is. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, Venusaur is a fantastic looking figure right here. I've always had a nice uh, soft spot in my heart for Venusaur because back in the 90s when I first had my, I think it was Pokemon Red for my Game Boy, I won my first championship with Venusaur. Vine Whip and Solar Solar Beam, right? Just constantly doing that. It's fantastic. Uh, he, uh, he looks really nice. The colors on him look really vibrant. Uh, the flower on top is a nice pink color. Uh, the green leaves look pretty nice. My only drawback on this is that he does not have any accessories. I would like to uh, myself maybe insert like a green wire for like a vine whip. That would be pretty cool or something like that. So we'll see later. But he's huge. Very big. Very girthy. A lot of heft to him as well. Pretty heavy figure. Not bad at all. Articulation wise, his mouth opens which is humongous which is nice. Uh, the legs and arms seem to be on a uh, ball joint, so they can go up and down. They're a little limited due to the stature of him, but they could move in and out, up and down. So you do have a little bit of articulation, but I don't know how much you're going to do with him, to be fair. Uh, that's why like, I thought it would be nicer to have some more accessories, like a vine whip coming out of him in the back, or something like that. It's been pretty cool. Alright, so here they are with Charizard. Like I said, I don't think that this Blastoise figure specifically isn't in the same class of an action figure compared to these two, because these two match up really well. Uh, it would be nicer to have another figure of him. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't know if there is one that exists, to be honest. I know there's a really expensive one from, like, SH Figure Arts or something like that, but I don't even know the exact size of that, to be fair. So to be honest, for a cheap price, this is probably the best we're going to do, which is okay for my collection. I just want to have all three of them. And I can have Ash, finally with them and we have Pikachu all right so after all these years you know I'm in my mid 30s right now I finally have all three of these in my collection on display in my own home and it's kind of weird because these are the first three you have to pick back in the day which one you want water fire grass now you know it's nice to have all three of these in my collection as a nice nostalgic feel to them uh, so I'm pretty happy with them to be fair, my only criticism is that I wish he was bigger. Blastoise, that is. And and I love a Venusaur. I just wish he had some accessories. Uh, but you are getting a pretty decent, hefty figure out of him. Like, he's heavy. Uh, it's not bad. The quality on him is pretty nice, so I'm not docking any points there. It just, I might myself uh, create some kind of wire, green wire coming out of him for uh, a vine whip or something, at least. And uh, it would have been pretty cool if you could actually angle him a little bit better. So, like, you know, his um, solar beam comes out of here, basically. Or this, or, or even if this had some articulation into point forward, it would have been nice. But it is what it is. Whatever. So, pretty cool. And that's about it, guys. They are complete. My childhood is ever growing once again. And thank you for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe. Do whatever you want. Pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you like the video, get a thumbs up. Peace.